Time. Time is the linear progression of events towards increased entropy. But the clowns? They understand the money thing. Hey all, it's Nim or Nimicry if you're feeling professional, and welcome to the YouTube video. Now today we're going to be talking about respecting a player's time in both practice and in principle. It's my goal to elucidate on the topics, give you my opinions, and provide an example of each where I can. If you enjoy this type of content, or just me in general, go on and click subscribe so you can stay up to date with the channel and everything that I produce. Outside of that, on one small bookkeeping note I do want to mention, I recently hit YouTube partnership. In fact, this is the first video that will be done since acquiring that status. So thank you to everybody who watches the stuff, and I hope that you continue to watch. Without further ado, let's get started. When it comes to respecting a player's time, you can do it in principle, in practice, or some mixture of both. So first, let's talk about in principle. So when it comes to respecting a player's time in principle, that's at the design phase. When you and your friends are developing a game, you're like, all right, how do we do this? How do we make players feel enjoyment from engaging with our system? Now, the reason I use the word enjoyment is because remember, video games, while a product, are ultimately forms of entertainment and have to be enjoyable, unlike, say, headphones. Headphones can be nice, they can be comfortable, they can put on my, on my ear and be like, oh, I feel so great, I feel so cool. They can have cool marketing, but they have to be useful for me to want them. Same with video games. They have to be fun for people to continue to play them. Now, there is a certain subsection of the population that is obsessed with certain things. Uh, we're going we're gonna to cut those guys out and move them to the side for now. So, you are at the design stage. How do you respect the player's time? Let's start off with a definition by negation. I'm sure everyone here has seen mobile phone games. Oh, where you look at it and you're like, oh, hey, cool, I'll download this puzzle game. And you do the puzzle game and you're like, oh, okay, I did level one, great. Level two, okay, cool, I'm cruising along, I, I see it. Oh, there's some microtransaction purchases, ah, I'm probably going to ignore that. I don't care that much. And then you hit a wall. That wall says, oh, you want to do level three. Okay, well, that's either going to be 99 cents or you can wait 12 hours. We're having a lot of fun. Like, uh, you know, I'm not having that much fun. I will, uh, I'll, I'll come back later. I got other things to take care of. I spent enough time on my phone today in the game. I gotta get back to work. Okay. So you come back the next day. You're like, okay, I did level three. I'm like, all right, all right. Oh, level four. Okay. Oh, I gotta do level four. I gotta pay 99 cents or wait 12 hours. Hmm. What had happened was, in that scenario, the reason you have that hmm is that you went from having free access to a game that you enjoyed and would have picked up and put down at, at your leisure to something that was artificially cut off and you were sold a solution. They weren't respecting your time. They were hoping that you didn't respect your wallet enough to buy past that barrier. Now, the ethics of microtransactions and game design aside, that's a whole nother video. That design does not respect a player's time. Whereas, in principle, Final Fantasy XIV is a good example of respecting a player's time in design. What do I mean by that? All right, so let's pull up let's pull up my uh, my little duty finder here. Well, I'm going to switch to a different class so I have access to a few other things, just in case. Paladin equip. But uh, okay, this there we go. There's the paladin, right? Best class. You can at me if you want, but best class. Now, as a paladin, I have options to do all of the content in the game. That, I, that I've unlocked. I've unlocked a lot of it. I'm sure there are a couple things I haven't unlocked. Uh, certain Savage uh, raids and, and Extreme Trials, I'm sure I haven't unlocked. But that's not, that's beside the point. Meaning that in this MMORPG, there are things for me to do. How do I get to them? Well, Duty Finder. Because without the Duty Finder, I would have to spend time in chat trying to find groups. Now, some people might say, but Nim, Nim, that's a more pure MMO experience. Beside the point. It's not respectful of your time, because what if you only have a couple hours to play a night? Do you want to spend time doing the content, or spend time getting a group, or getting to the location to do the content? I.e. travel. Because remember, travel adds... Transportation adds no value to any product. It doesn't matter if your phone was delivered on in a Tesla, or a Semi, or if it was hand-carried by the angels themselves. It's still a phone. Same thing. It doesn't matter if that dungeon is filled with noobs, scrubs, or whatever. If I can't 
or the best players in the game that are far better than myself. If I can't get into the dungeon, I can't do the dungeon. So again, example of respecting a player's time is the idea that they know there are massive amounts of players that play it, especially with uh, recent upticks. Now, New World might have chipped off a little bit of the player base temporarily, but still, uh, with the queues, I'm sure they're still hanging out in Final Fantasy XIV. Now, remember, respecting a player's time. This allows me to access the systems. Having to be paywalled or having to wait not respectful of my time, because I only have so much, and there's only so much I can dedicate to gaming, and once I forget about it, well, there you go, I forgot about it. On to respecting a player's time in practice. With regards to respecting a player's time in practice, that to me means, am I enjoying myself in the time that I'm in the game? Now, you're not going to enjoy everything about every game, I understand that, but let's say for the most part, I'm enjoying my time with the game. Do I feel respected? Do I feel encouraged to play? Do I feel like I wasted my time? These are all things to keep in mind when it comes to respecting the player's time and practice. We see a lot of free-to-play games, and even some non-free-to-play games, include a daily login bonus designed to give you that hit of dopamine right off the bat to get you invested, to have you have that feeling like, well, I've already been rewarded. I might as well continue, and through continued play, you receive increased rewards, thus creating a feedback cycle. Though I want to mention something that isn't respectful of a player's time in practice. And that, of course, deals with World of Warcraft and Paragon Boxes. Now, for those who have played World of Warcraft for a while, they'll know that you can increase your reputation with individual factions. And you do that through quests. You start off at Neutral, then you go to Friendly, Honored, Revered, and finally, Exalted. Now, recently, and I believe this started in Legion... Once you hit Exalted, you unlock a 10,000 point repeatable task. It's not really a quest, it's a task. That once you fill that bar up, you can go talk to the Quartermaster of said faction. They'll give you a chest like, hey, you did great work, we love you! Get over here, buddy! And then they'll give you a chest, and that chest will be has a chance to have, depending on the loot table, of course, uh, a toy, a pet, a mount... Or, more often than not, a nominal amount of currency for the effort you put in. I have a friend who is a moderator on the Twitch channel who is a voracious collector. She collects and collects and collects and collects. I, she just started playing Final Fantasy XIV a month or two ago, and I believe she has more mounts than me by almost double. She just collects and collects and collects. And I remember her always agonizing about the Paragon chests. Because she would do all the quests, and all the quests every day, as, as often as she felt like it. And then, you open the chest, and boom, disappointment. Now, you may say, Nim, but you can't get everything you want all the time. Right. Right, you can't. So what would have respected a player's time is if we go back to the principal and put in bad luck protection, which absolutely from my understanding, was not on those Paragon chests. Meaning that you took the time to level all the way up to Exalted, which was not an easy feat, depending on the race of the character. Humans had the easiest time because you got a 10% bonus. And then you had to do another 10,000 rep gain, and some of those quests gave you 75 rep apiece. So that's a lot of quests. And then 4,000 gold. Tell me, does that feel good? Does that feel like you're being respected? Same thing with time boosters or experience boosters. The idea that I'm playing a game and through the game, it is artificially slowed down and you're selling me away past it. I worry that in New World, we're going to see that with skill ups. We're going to see we're going to see a boosting pays at uh, boosters sold after the initial hype dies down in order to drive more money out of the IP. Now, I know that right now they don't sell them from the best I, uh, most I understand. I haven't been able to actually log in the servers, uh, so there's still a lot of people playing Final Fantasy XIV. Anyways, this has been my ideas on respecting a player's time in both practice 
and in principle. Tell me, do you agree? Do you think I missed something? Could I have gone into deep more detail? I wanted to keep the video short out of respect for your time. So I decided to take kind of a high level view and delve into areas of my own expertise. I know I have friends who play FPS games and RTS games and they may have a different take or different examples entirely. Outside of that guys, if you enjoyed the content, go on and hit subscribe. This is the first video I made since making YouTube partner and I feel kind of good. There will be a Patreon uh, being relaunched. I took it down as I started attending university and working two jobs. Uh, but I think that I'm going to put it back up uh, with some new rewards and things like that. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a good day. Be safe and be kind.